Hello, YouTubers, and welcome to a new video of Arepas for Dinner. For the ones who don't know me, my name is Andrea, and I make videos about my life in the Czech Republic. So today, I'm actually bringing you to Lidl because recently I made a grocery shop in Rohlik, but many of you told me that Lidl is more inexpensive, which is true. So I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna shop. I'm bringing my baby with me. I'm gonna show you more or less how the supermarket looks inside, some of the prices, and then I'm gonna uh, show you everything I buy and what are the prices in Czech crowns and in US dollars as well for comparison. So that's it, let's start with the video. So I gotta be honest with you, I haven't been in-person grocery shopping for a very long time. So I might get overwhelmed and just like run away, but I'm gonna try not to do that. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna grab is some baby spinach because I live for this. I honestly believe that the <laughs> veggie area in Lidl is quite fine. I was gonna buy normal lettuce, but I think uh, there's some other interesting things I can buy, but I don't think see okay maybe this lettuce is more interesting than the normal one so i'm just gonna grab one of these ones but i also must admit that i don't like the type of packaging they use here because you have kind of like all the onions in a net what if i want to choose different or less amount that kind of like bothers me a little bit because for example i don't remember if i bought onions last time in rohlik so now i'm gonna buy but i'm just sad i cannot buy just like two big onions and that's it same goes for the potatoes. So this is the fruit section. You have there some oranges, here's some lemons. I think here you can detail them. That's nice because I actually am gonna need one lemon. Uh, you have some limes, tangerines, um, no, that's grapefruit, tangerines, oranges, um, plums, that's nice. I haven't seen plums in a while. Am I gonna be buying? No. I think they're like 79 to crowns per kilo. That's too expensive, I'm not gonna buy it. Um, strawberries, 60 to crowns per kilo. Then raspberries, 50 per 100 grams. God's sake, that's a lot. Then you have here some grapes. Um, oh gosh. I might take some grapes. Oh, I put them out of the bag, but I might take some grapes. The seafood part or like the, you know, fish part is kind of better than in other supermarkets. I don't know why. If I don't buy my fish in macro, I usually buy it here. Maybe it's not even less expensive. I don't know. I think it is less expensive. I think those prices are per hundred grams, but it's just because it's like very convenient and the sizes, I like the portion sizes. And just in case you didn't know, for some weird reason, Lidl always has like different week themes. So if you come, for example, in the Italian week, they're gonna have a bunch of things from Italy, not expensive. So that's something that is worth checking out. Also, even though they're a tiny supermarket, they also sell stuff, like random stuff, like iron for the hair, I don't know. I'm not saying that that's cheap or anything, but they sell those things here too. So this is all for a total of 804 Czech crowns. So I'm gonna tell you exactly what I bought and I'm just gonna put there the prices in Czech crowns and dollars so you can, you know, compare with whatever you're coming from to see how the prices are compared to where you live and yeah. So first of all, I got this net of onions um, I didn't have any, I think. One kilo of carrots here. Then here is, I think, another kilo. Yeah, another kilo of tomatoes. I got um, 250 grams of uh, champignon style mushrooms. I got two tuna um, in oil. I like to have this for lunch sometimes. I got a head of broccoli. I think this is 500 grams, half a kilo. I got some grapes, green grapes. I got some cabbage that I'm gonna to try to make soup with these. I've never worked with cabbage before, but I'm excited. I got 20 size M eggs. I got one lemon for a recipe for today that I'm making. I got these 
Tirolske Klobasi. We really love to snack on these type of things. I mean, they're very good in Czech Republic. So, yeah. Um, we got a thing of baby spinach. Um, we got here some lilac. I think they call it in Czech. It's uh, eggplant. Um, I love these roasted. Uh, we got one British cucumber. One tray of Gouda cheese. One thing of celery for a soup that I'm making. Here we got these of bacon. I think I'm going to use that for the soup, to be honest, as well. Uh, we got two trays of ham because I said it before, these ham trays come with only 100 grams. So definitely you need to buy two if you're more than one person in your household. Then I got the salad, lettuce. I think it was more interesting than your normal um, iceberg one. I got these cheese slices. Um, literally, it doesn't say even what type of cheese it is. Might be horrible, but it was inexpensive and I really like the type of holes that this cheese has. I got four bananas because Alicia eats bananas every morning. And finally, I got three packages of powdered garlic or garlic powder. Um, here they don't sell it in the little containers. So you have to buy the containers and then put these inside. We usually buy the containers in the US and then we refill them with these, to be honest. And that was all for 804 crowns. So let me know down in the comments if you found it expensive, cheap. Usually I would have some bread here and some bramburki, some like potato chips or something, but not this time. And yeah, that was it. And yeah, I didn't buy any protein. So that is without like fish, poultry or anything. I only have like these as protein, animal protein. So the rest is pretty much just like veggies and that's it. So that was it guys. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, let me know down in the comments if you thought it was expensive or it was inexpensive. Let me know in your opinion what the prices look like. Um, usually I do Rohlik. I did one video on Rohlik that you can check out here. Um, so you can check that video out. Usually I prefer that than going to supermarkets because here nobody helps you bag the things, nobody helps you with your bags or anything and going like that with the baby is just hell, so no. Um, so yeah, that's it. I'll see you hopefully next week with a new video. Bye.